Hi right, guys, uh, another video. This time, this is a, a Volkswagen a Passat. Is the B6 chassis. It's a 2005, uh, early 2006 uh, model. The car came to me with uh, two problems. Uh, one is sorted already. I'm not going to really talk about that one. But uh, the, the problem I have at the moment, or well, the second problem the car came with, is this. I'm going to try to see if I can replicate the problem, which is if I press the clutch and I put the key in, so I insert the key. Okay, so I don't know if you saw what happened in there. I'm gonna try to see if it does it again. Gonna try again. So that's what happens. The car doesn't start. It does a funny noise on the steering lock. Uh, it didn't. He hasn't done it this time exactly as used to. But uh, what I used to do is you can hear the steering column uh, lock. Uh, try to disengage and then engage, then disengage. It stays there back and forwards. In the meantime, there's a message coming up saying to move the steering wheel, uh, and that's about it really. So uh, that's why it does. Uh, the DS708 tells me this, there's another code, so this is what it tells me. That's it, yeah? So my next step is going to be obviously take the steering lock into bits and uh, well investigate see we'll see what what's in there. So the steering wheel has been removed. And uh, is back here in the boot. And uh, this is the steering lock, okay. And now the tricky bit is going to be to remove these two security bolts. Uh, I don't know yet how I'm going to remove them. I'm probably going to try maybe a, a sizzle, try to release them free and then just turn them out. Uh, but uh, but yes, yeah, so this is this is the next step now. So, guys, I'm halfway through the process of uh, removing the steering lock. So that bolt uh, is already removed. To take the other one, because obviously, put like that. Sorry, guys. Sorry, it's a little bit, it's on the way. So what I've done is I've took the cover off. And then it can take these off. And now this gives you room for you to put a sizzle to actually hammer the bolt off. That's all I've done on this side. You have a room here. On this side what I've done is, I've done it like this, like that, okay? I'm going to finish to take this off and, uh, and then we'll have a look to see if there's anything in the lock that was causing that uh, problem. So the, the lock has now been uh, dismantled, uh, not completely because as I was already uh, thinking the problem is now here uh, is on a PCB, which is the only thing I've removed 
Um, so I left the cam and uh, everything. Uh, I'm just going to point out something here before I move on to show you uh, what the problem is. Um, which is, uh, if, if you watch my videos, uh, you have seen the video for the Reno uh, McGann steering lock, I believe. Where I've uh, had a little bit of an issue uh, with the temper temper protection sort of uh, kind of a system that uh, once the steering lock is opened you can't really close it again uh, so basically in this case the the temper protection or whatever you might want a safety whatever you want to call it is actually here uh, which is this uh, device here this little sliding I try to pull it basically but it's spring loaded so Can't really move it, can I? Uh, it's basically this here, yeah. So that moves this way. So originally that is pulled back here, and uh, it's holded by a little latch on the cover. This little latch here at the back, at the end of my finger, right there. So that goes in there. And it holds this back here. So the, the actually lock itself in there, you can see it goes back forwards. Once you actually release, you take the cover, that moves all the way like that, and it stays locked. Okay. Uh, not big of an issue, all you have to do is actually pull just pull this out so you just remove that and that's it that will move freely always yeah so you don't need to worry about that so just make sure you remember to, to remove this once you took the cover off because if you put everything back together um, the steering lock, you're gonna spend your time putting everything back together to find out that the steering lock will not um, will not work. So it's, it's better always just remove this off, take it off, and uh, you, you'll be safe. So everything will work the way you actually should. Okay? Now, moving to the... to the actually problem. Um, from what was happening because the car never failed to actually uh, lock the steering so when the key was removed it would lock every single time it never gave an error uh, it was only when it was tried to unlock the steering and that was the reason why uh, it would do that noise going back and forth because it would try to unlock but it wouldn't recognize that was unlocked, so it would lock again and would attempt again to unlock until until get a positive uh, um, a feedback. Uh, so from that behavior, I presumed straight away that the lock position sensor was working, uh, which in this case it is is this little micro switch here, and what what we're gonna do. Is I've measured this already, so I know where the problem is. I'm, I'm just I'm going to show you. So this is the lock position sensor or micro switch, and as you can see at the moment, the board is reading uh, the multimeter is reading 10, 9 mega ohms, which is pretty much an open circuit. I'm going to press that just until it clicks. So just until it activates. So I'm going to press. I hope you have heard the noise and it goes straight to 0.3 ohms I'm going to put the phone really close so see if you can hear the noise the the click so open open line close and as you can see the first reading the pressed press you see, the first reading, that jumps straight away to 0.3 or even below, which is a, a closed 
circuit obviously so it's a perfect perfect signal back to this little PCB saying yes I'm in the correct I'm I'm locked um you know it is a correct signal going back to the PCB okay now I'm gonna pause the video I'm gonna connect this into the other micro switch so you can actually see how it behaves so I've connected this now to the next switch and I hope you're gonna be able to see it and to hear the click as well I really hope you do so what I'm gonna do is so you can see is reading when 131.6 K ohms which is fine so when I press which I hope you're gonna hear the click as well on this one you're gonna see what happens so I'm gonna press the switch it clicked look why it does 6.3 ohms that's not right I'm gonna release it again oh I'm gonna put this right here by the microphone so you can actually hear it Six point five released pressed it goes to six point one so uh, I press again clicked six point four open press. damn it sorry guys for that So, press, I'm gonna press now, pressed, 5.6, and now what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna do something different now, is I'm gonna keep pressing on a micro switch, okay, and you're gonna see what happens. So, clicked, 8.9 ohms now, <laughs> 8.9, I'm gonna press, really hard and look what happens not 0.5 that is more likely that is that is the reading I should be getting now I'm gonna without letting to click look it's coming up it's coming up it clicked now and it goes obviously open circuit so this is the problem guys the problem is this micro switch is it's probably just I don't know it's faulty obviously uh, and that is why it's causing the wrong signal back into the to the system to say when it's unlocked uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do really uh, I don't have these micro switches here so I'm gonna remove this solder this one off and see what I can do with this so, what, uh, what, what I've done is, I've uh, the, um, the micro switch, uh, all the bits are here, the lever, the contact, the spring, and obviously the frame, and you can't, you're probably not going to be able to see it, uh, I don't think you're going to be able to see it, but uh, Right at the end of my nail, on this finger, in my in this finger here, the top piece of metal there, the top one, is the contact for when the switch is pressed, and you can't see it, but it's all black right at the top, right there. It's, it's difficult to see uh, with the phone. But it's all black. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean all these bits, all the contact parts, clean everything, uh, put everything back together. And uh, then we put it back on the board, obviously. And then we'll have a go. And uh, we'll measure it again and see if we get any results from that. So, uh, I got it cleaned. And put it all back together. 
I haven't closed it yet because I want to test it before. Uh, so it's connected now, as you can see, it says it's, it's an open line. It doesn't read nothing now because it's now on the board. That's why I was getting some readings a while on the board. But anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press it just until it clicks. And we'll see why readings it give me. So I'm going to press, start to press. Clicked. I press anymore, look for that. Not 0.3, not 0.2 ohms. A perfect contact. Can you see the difference now? between the six point something before and now, so I'm gonna release, you're gonna see the relay moving. Uh, open. Now I'm gonna press just slightly. Tick. Look for that. Beautiful. So that's it. Uh, the cleaning has result, so I'm gonna put it all together, put everything on the board and measure it uh, once it's on the board, which I will show you. Uh, before I close the actually lock. So it's uh, closed. It's now in place. All soldered back. And let's going to see what happens then. So open line. It's going to press just until we hear the click. Let me turn off the desolder. Press just until the we hear the click. Click. Not point two, not point three. So can you see the difference, guys, between the five point some five ohms, wherever that was, to now? And I'm not doing any pressure. Just until it clicks, look, released. Sleepy. Click. That's it. Perfect. So let's gonna put everything back together, uh, put it on the car, and uh, it's gonna try. Um, another quick thing, which is uh, to remove the cover, you kind of need to break these uh, plastic uh, pins. They are melted over here, but to, I've just melted them again, obviously, as you can see, but uh, to remove them in first place, you kind of need to break this. And uh, because the, the lock is actually spring-loaded, okay, what I've done in this side is I've, I've melted them like that, but I've actually put a, a little screw in the middle, you see, on these two, so make sure the cover doesn't actually come off. So that's it, so now he's ready to go back into the steering. So guys, the steering column is now in place. I haven't put all the covers yet, um, as you can see. Uh, I want to try it first. And uh, it's going to go. It's going to put the key, see what happens. Unlocked. Locked. Unlocked. Locked. Perfect, as you can see, surely you can hear the lock down there, opening and closing. Hmm. Seems that I left those buttons pressed in there. now so that's it guys uh, perfect problem solved so it was all down to that uh, micro switch not uh, making a proper contact um, and that's it the cleaning of that resolved the issue back on the road guys thank you for watching I really hope the video um, can help you out. Any questions put them below.